Well, Fox 61, the Connecticut Office of Arts, and the Connecticut Department of Education have partnered on the Connecticut Creative Futures. Yeah, Connecticut is chock full of all sorts of artistic talent across every discipline you can think of. And joining us now, he's no stranger to the show, Joey Batts, a hip-hop artist, musician, muralist, teacher, community service leader, you name it. Uh, it's been only a matter of time, I thought, Joey, before we were going to have you here yeah. as part of our Creative Futures. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I appreciate it. Thank you again for having me on the show. And uh, I'm super happy to, to be here. And I love that you are spotlighting uh, the artistic community. I think it's great. Yeah, this is what we are trying to do. Now, starting by talking about teaching, you're coming to us from uh, Manchester right now. You teach there. You've taught at Hartford Public Schools. Uh, what inspired you to go in that route to try to help kids? Uh, you know, education, I think, was something that kind of came into my life um, to consider being a teacher right when I was about a junior or a senior in high school, when you start trying to figure out what it is you want to do with the with your post-secondary um, path. And uh, I always appreciated the teachers that, you know, kept their door open after school, the teachers that ran clubs, the teachers that would be willing to kind of meet students on an individualistic, you know, level where you could have those conversations and they could give you some wisdom and just kind of help you manage life. You know, the transition from a young adolescent to a young adult is so yeah. difficult. So I think that I kind of had that idea to, you know, be one of these people that kind of help you know, our teens, you know, become young adults and become, you know, productive members of society. I, I just love that ideology. Well, what our kids have been going through with teachers as well, you know, having you there, it is just so important and so critical. And, you know, I, I, as a parent, I just want to thank you for, for what you're doing. You know, it really is, really means a lot. I also want to talk, ask you to talk about your hip hop for homeless concerts. Those are having a huge impact as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, the the landscape that we're all navigating so much, you know, post pandemic, you know, still within the pandemic, um, one of the um, communities that has been impacted so much um, that already has been dealt a rough hand has been the the, the displaced community and the homeless community. Um, having my friends who are all talented and, and venues and club owners and DJs and performers and everybody kind of come together around a, a very sensitive time. It takes place every December and we just celebrated our eighth year. So for eight years we've been doing it. And uh, the, the previous December we had to do it remotely, but we were finally able to do live shows again. Um, people were able to come out. We still kept everybody safe during the mask mandates. Um, and it was great. And we're able to collect canned goods, clothing, funds, and we partner with each um, nonprofit in every single one of those towns within Connecticut. So, you know, Hartford, New Haven, Manchester, New Britain, just to name a few, we've been able to help um, nonprofits that are already assisting the, the displaced community. So um, it's been amazing, and, and the reception has been great, and every year we continue and continue to grow, which is amazing. We would be remiss uh, if we didn't uh, mention you got a new album out, Air vs. Earth, seven songs, and we want to ask you about that if we have time. But I also want to ask you about kids who want to get into rap, hip-hop, public speaking, but they need to perform in front of other people. That's yes. a different uh, ball of wax entirely. What advice do you have uh, for people to sort of get over that stage of fright? Yes, um, thank you so much for, for uh, recognizing that project. Um, dealing with the elements has always been something that, that I've wanted to focus on, so I appreciate the little nod to that. Um, as far as students who want to um, share their voice Right. We, we really want to build up students. We want to we want to build up the, the, the members of the community who who don't who don't have a voice, who feel voiceless, the disenfranchised. Right. Um, students, children, parents, get your children to take public speaking more seriously. You have to have them read things to you at home. You have to have verbal communication with them. You have to allow them to use their voice because they, if they don't find their own personal voice, both literally, right, 
and, and figuratively, they won't be able to ever be in front of people, whether that's friends, family members, or strangers, they'll never feel that confidence. So please have those conversations. We're coming out of um, a very difficult two years where so many of our children and our students have been impacted that, that their social lives have changed so much and their communication skills, they're in a deficit right now. So we really, really, really have to help them get back to us so they're not scared to have these face-to-face -face interactions and, and really use their voice in order to become the next rapper, the next speaker, the next poet, the next singer. Yeah, and the more they do that, the easier it becomes. Joey Bats, thanks so much for being with us. Just want to mention again, Air versus Air, excuse me, Air versus Earth. It's out right now. Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube. What am I missing? Um, I think you hit all the... Okay. You know, in camp, you know, YouTube, Pandora, I mean, it's everywhere. Pandora. I got it. All, All right, right, Joey, thank you. Joey.